another Nevis Cricket Association coaching festival this time for 2010. Father, we thank you for a lovely day. Thank you for this academy and this training clinic that has been arranged for these youngsters to give them a direction towards their future. We thank you for the sponsors. We thank you for the coaches. We thank you for the organizers. Everybody who will be involved in some way, shape or form to make this exercise a fruitful one. We believe this is an investment in our future. And so, Lord God, we present all these youngsters to you Welcome and thank you to all the coaches, who have the former players who have decided to come out and give a hand and pass on their experience and expertise to the youngsters. And thanks to the youngsters and the parents who have come out to become a part of this. Uh, we are happy to have all of you here today, past players of St. Christian Nevis who would be here doing some coaching with us. I am hoping that we are ready to receive what they have to offer. Pay keen attention, we are helping you to shape your lives and to do what is right. We feel like the more right things you do, the less wrong you would do. We mean well for all of you. It's, that's the reason why we are, we are putting on these type of activities. I believe that from among you today, we are going to see leaders that would inspire. Theodore Walters is at the back. Let's give him a round of applause. He's, for those of you youngsters, he's the fast bowler of the 70s. And um, he's beer and we're happy to have him. And of course, Johnson Morton, who has played for Nevis, has been out for a long time. And I was, yesterday someone said to him, you, you should have been a millionaire. You could have been a millionaire. You left, you left too early meaning that you would have been a millionaire because you would have played for the West Indies. Want to recognize our West Indies stars, Keith Atherton, Stuart Williams, Carl Tuckett, and all of the coaches. I want to also put our hands together for Digicel for sponsoring the tournament. <laughs> I ask you to do that because it is easy. It is easy for Digicel to say, look, these are hard economic times and we don't have the money to sponsor. But I think the company recognizes that when we're dealing with young people and trying to reduce antisocial behavior, you can't put it off. So you can't say we're not investing in the young people this year and so next year, because if we leave them as they are, by next year the problem will get 10 times worse. So we, th we thank the corporate people for engaging in that regard. I want to say in particular to the young people here, I want you to recognize that the, the men standing at the back where the coaches have given up their Easter Saturday morning to come to be with you. And that's not an easy thing to do because this is the longest weekend outside of the Christmas holiday vacation and people can go away and people have families and all that sort of thing and they've made a sacrifice. And I am troubled by, because I'm the Minister of Youth and Sports and all the other related things which deal with young people, health and so on. I am troubled sometimes I go to, to the prison to see who is down there and what they're about and when they're coming back and what they're down there for. And I am very troubled when I go. They used to be in cricket. They used to be in the under 13. They used to be in the inter-primary. 
They used to be in the sports clubs and other community clubs. And somewhere along the line, they got off course. And of course, if you get off course from these things, you're going to be on course for prison. And so I am saying to the young people this morning that when we take the time to come, to invest in you, we expect you to do one simple thing for us. To show that it was a good thing for us to do it and to lead by example. Talk to your young friends to get them into cricket or something positive because when I check the budget, in both in the St. Kitts federal budget and the Nevis budget, there is no other country in the OECS investing the kind of money in the development of young people across the OECS. Nowhere. The, the quantum of funds we are putting in for cricket, for football, for track and field, and all other related events. And we have facilities in cricket, track and field. We are developing a number of sports fields in Nevis at substantial cost. At a long meeting with the Premier on Wednesday, and what we have come up with a cricket program for the primary schools. And beginning next term, the period 4.30 to 6 o'clock, 4, no, 4 to 6, since that is the period when our young people have absolutely nothing to do, we are going to develop at each of the primary schools, having the reorganize the, the, the early skills training in the basics, batting, bowling, fielding, catching. And we are going to move across the island with this. Every school will have, and then we are going to select from the, that an elite group of young players that we want to be the future of Nevis's cricket. We owe that to the people standing at the back. All of the men and women, all the men standing at the back played cricket for nothing. So it is our responsibility as government to make sure that we so incorporate the cricket into all of the things we're doing so that years down the road we have people playing cricket. And it's not just for cricket, it has a behavioral component which we have put to it. So we want the young people to understand that cricket is a gentleman's game and there's a certain kind of behavior which goes with, with being a good cricketer. And so I want also to say to the parents that given all the investment in the young people coming from government and all the volunteers and so on, the, uh, the only other task left for you to do in this in Kids and Nevis is to guide your children. And so we are doing something here for coaches and we are building their character and personality and we want the parents to help us. If you're interested in cricket, this is the best time to play. Four of the six members of the cabinet of the Nevis Island government were presidents of the Cricket Association in Nevis. And so, as the sports minister, whenever I take a submission to cabinet about cricket, it doesn't even include five minutes of discussion. We approve anything on cricket quickly. Our ministry stands ready to help, and we look forward to your continued support. The task is mine, therefore, and the pleasure is mine to declare this coaching clinic officially open, and I trust that we will see consistent and qualitative improvement in the players. Thank you. Try as, as a schoolboy against people like Livingston Sargent, Vance Emery, Big Bird Griffin, but those kind of fellas, and you had to really um, show your ways in order to make the senior team. What was your specialty as a player? I opened batting and also um, kept wicket. Could you tell us some of your most memorable exploits? As a schoolboy, um, me and um, Lewis Newton, we were schoolboys, but we played against a senior team, club team. And me and Lewis's brother, Sidney, we opened the batting. And I think we were one wicket down for about five runs. But we didn't lose the second wicket till we were past 350. So mm -hmm. <laughs> we had like a, a 350 partnership between myself and Newton. Of course, he made 200 of that. I was MVP in, at Warner Park in one of the early limited over games, Berridge Hall. So I was MVP of that um, game. So you, you, you understood the rivalry between Sinkets and Nevis then. So it was, you know, it was a pleasure because you, you realized you were representing the people, not only the people of Nevis, but the, the Nevisians who lived in St. Kitts who came out to the matches and you really wanted to perform for them. So they were there as soon as you came off the boat to support you and it was wonderful.